Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cabe 2024 Awards Luncheon. Please welcome to the stage Cabe Board Region 5 Representative, Dr. Sara Cepeda. Hello and welcome to all. As a new member on the Cabe Board of Directors, it is such a privilege to be with you at this special luncheon. Today, we will honor educators and parents who have demonstrated tremendous passion, commitment, and excellence in supporting California's student population, and specifically the 33% who are emergent bilinguals English learner students. Each of our awardees is a leader in their field, not only talking the talk, but walking the walk by promoting and taking action in support of biliteracy for all. We have a lot to celebrate today, so let's get started. Please join me in welcoming the host of today's luncheon, Rosa Armstrong, Kabe Board of Director of Paraprofessional Affairs. Thank you, Dr. Cepeda. I agree. It really is a privilege to be with you all today. This is one of my favorite events at the CABE conference. We are delighted to welcome three educators who have come all the way from Lima, Peru. Colegio Maria Alvarado and America del Callao. I love the energy, the excitement, and yes, I love the table arrangements that were made by parent leaders from the Palmdale School District. Please, a round of applause for them. Could you please stand up, parents? Thank you. And just a quick little reminder to please leave the arrangements after the luncheon, as we will be using them at another CABE 2024 event. But I have to say, more than anything today, I love that we are celebrating and uplifting our own community and recognizing them for empowering and making a difference in the lives of students, families, and other educators in the work they do each and every day. Today, we'll be honoring five bilingual teacher candidates who are working on finishing their bilingual authorization credentials, as well as the CABE Para Educator of the Year, the Parent of the Year, the Teacher of the Year from California and Baja California, the Site Administrator of the Year, and the District Administrator of the Year. We have so much to celebrate and a wonderful lunch to enjoy. We will have a few very special greetings right now. To get us started, we'll break for lunch to be served and then begin our awards celebration. Thank you, and I'll see you back on the stage shortly. Thank you, Rosa. Now, please welcome to the stage CABE 2024 Honorary Chair from the Palmdale School District, Superintendent Dr. Raul Maldonado. Se van a cansar de mi canción, pero el mensaje es de volver, volver a Cabe, ¿no? That's the message. Boy, I want to thank everybody who's here. At this time, I'm speaking as the superintendent of the Palmdale School District. Uh, we've had the pleasure of sponsoring the event for several years. I'm very proud of the fact that we have several people in the audience from Palmdale. I think we should have closed schools down, but my board is here, so they will not agree with me. Who's here from Palmdale? Palmdale School District. In Palmdale, we say, Palmdale. Palmdale. Thank you so much. 
I want to thank you guys for the passion, the motivation. And just like Victor said, echenle ganas. Did you know I showed him that phrase? He says he came up with it. No, no, no. I told him back there, echale ganas. Hay que echarle ganas. Without the support of a wonderful board of uh, trustees, uh, we, this would not be possible. If you notice the mariachi students, they're all wearing their beautiful mariachi outfit. That is thanks to LCAP. Where's my LCAP director? Thank you so much. When I went to my LCAP director, I said, we need to buy the outfits for the mariachi so they look professional. And she said, absolutely, let's get it. And the board signed off on it. So board members, muchísimas gracias. Thank you for all your support. Around the Palmdale Promise. We started the Palmdale Promise, which is our strategic plan. And you see it in, on the uh, tables there. I want to thank Francisca, our consultant, for starting the Palmdale Promise. Muchas gracias. Uh, and today, it's stronger. It's about students. It's about networking. It's about staff, the parents. And guess what? We don't ignore anybody. We value everyone's culture, language, and it's about the community. High intellectual achievement, as well as equity for all students. So again, thank you so much. I want to thank my wife. You know, behind a great person, whether female or male, there's a person behind him. I want to thank my wife, who's also wearing her beautiful outfit. Don't forget, folks. Tomorrow is the fashion show. I started today because I'm a proud charro de Jalisco. So I'm going to wear my charro outfit. And if people criticize it, so what? I know who I am. We're here united, proud to be from wherever you're from, from Colombia, from the US, from Boston, from wherever. Gracias por estar aquí. And Kabe, thank you so much. Our next honorary chair is the superintendent of one of our Cabe 2024 home districts, the Anaheim Elementary School District. Please welcome Dr. Christopher Downing. Good afternoon, everybody. Buenas tardes a todos. So Dr. Maldonado sort of issued a challenge. Uh, first of all, we want to welcome you to Anaheim, home of the happiest place on earth. Now, if you're happy to be here, or if you're from Anaheim, I want to hear you right now. Let's say Anaheim. Come on, everybody. There you go. So this afternoon, it is my honor to again welcome you to this luncheon where we're going to recognize some outstanding educators and parents. And we're very proud from the Anaheim Elementary School District to have this year's Parent of the Year, Jesse Alvarez, representing our district. Ms. Alvarez has been instrumental in our district, and she's one of the founding members of our Parent Leadership Institute. She donates countless hours in our PTA and just making a difference for students. And that's what it's all about, everyone, is parent engagement and partnership. I'd also like to recognize Anaheim's own Dr. Renee Bryant, who is representing the Anaheim Union High School District. And it's so great to have this year's Kabe in Anaheim and for us to celebrate these two outstanding leaders. In years past, I've had a chance to share with you that in the Anaheim Elementary School District, we are proud that every one of our 23 in-person schools has a dual language program. We value multilingualism and multicultural opportunities for our students. And I would like to say to all of us, it is important that we advocate for continued funding for our schools and our districts during this deficit time. Some of the funding that has come down has allowed our district to expand opportunities into the afternoon through expanded learning opportunities program and have mariachi and have ballet folklorico and have conga kids and have children have an opportunity to see themselves in their learning. And that 
epitomizes what this year's conference is about. It's a celebration of diversity. It's a celebration of heritage. And I call on all of us, again, make sure that as we move forward in education, the funds are there to support bilingualism, to support opportunities, equity, and access for all. So in, close, in closing, everyone, I just like to say, adelante, nunca dejen de soñar, which means forward, never stop dreaming. Thank you all. Welcome to amazing Anaheim. Thank you. Let's welcome Gabe CEO, Dr. Edgar Lampkin for a special recognition of one of our sponsors and partners. Greetings, everyone. You know, there are many partners that support the vision and mission of Cabe. And today, I would like to give special recognition to one of our very special sponsors and thought partners in our work, the Sobrato Family Philanthropy. For over 13 years, they have worked with us and they have stood side by side with us with Cabe, supporting, encouraging, digging deep into the policy issues and asking critical questions, broadening the dialogue and providing renewed connections and insights in the work that we do while working, while supporting Cabe with, a gener with generous grants for several years. Their support also includes platinum level sponsorship of the Cabe annual conference. Please join me in thanking the Sobrato Family Philanthropy and our senior program officer, Carla Reese, for their continuous and visionary support of Cabe. We thank you so much. Give them a big round of applause, please. Carla. Thank you so much. On behalf of Sobrato Philanthropies' this English Learner Program, we are so honored to just be in community with you all and support organizations like CABE, who help us center multilingual learners in policy advocacy and systems change. And we're so um, grateful to be able to just follow um, CABE's lead amongst all the other wonderful partners and their network of educators. So thank you so much. Now, please welcome back to the stage CABE Board President, Dr. Raul Maldonado, to recognize three additional sponsors of CABE 2024. ¿A quién le gusta Vicente Fernández? Chente. I hope you're enjoying your lunch. I'm here to recognize a great partner. I want to take a moment to thank them. They're here from Leuna, the Labor's International Union of North America, for their that's right, they're right over here. Hold this down. Gracias. Their support is at the following level. If you were here this morning, it was Dr. Rios who said, if I had money, I would be a platinum uh, sponsor. Well, guess what? Leo, Leuna is a platinum sponsor. So that's why I want to thank them for their generous $50,000 donation to Cabe. And that's why I keep saying, volver, volver, right? Because we want them to come back. They are a corporate level sponsor, along with HPLE, a gold level sponsor. They're also back here. I'm gonna welcome both of them in a minute. I'd like to ask Bernadette Rivera to come up to the stage. She's the Assistant Executive Director of Leuna and Jaime Ortiz with HPLE to join me. I want to thank both of them for the generous uh, donation to Cabe and this year's Cabe success. So again, thank you so much. I will start with Bernadette. She's the platinum sponsor and she gets this beautiful plaque. Bernadette, muchísimas gracias. Bernadette just flew in from Boston, by the way. So let's give her a big applause, you guys. Bernadette, gracias. Good afternoon, everyone. Gracias, Raul. It is truly a pleasure to be here and uh, my honor to be able to accept this plaque on Layuna's behalf. 
You know, I, I noticed that uh, the Palmdale School District has been getting a lot of love, and we have to recognize uh, Palmdale as well as Antioch, who are uh, our partners in implementing the LEARN CTE program. Um, and I do want to steal Palmdale's thunder a little bit. I noticed that on all of the tables, you have this beautiful centerpiece with the slogan, the Palmdale Promise. And Layuna is here to help as partners deliver on that promise, not just for Palmdale, but for youth all across the United States and the amazing state of California. So as partners, I would like to invite all of you to our workshop this afternoon at 3.30 in 246A, uh, where we're gonna be talking a little bit about our LEARN program and its specific uh, benefits for youth and those that are multilingual or have different language backgrounds. Thank you again so much, and we hope you have a great conference. Um, and I would like to end with a rallying cry that hopefully many of you, if you have any connections to organized labor uh, or to the Latino community, will recognize. Si se puede, hermanos y hermanas. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Bernadette, for that generous donation to Cabe and the Cabe Familia. Again, without the sponsorships, this would not be possible. And folks out at high schools, middle schools, we need to work on creating more CTE programs for our kiddos. But let's prepare them to work out on the workforce. If they choose to go to college, let's do this. But I'll tell you, somebody in welding, the first year out of high school can make 120,000. That's impressive. When we hire teachers, we pay, what, 65000 and you got a lot of debt. We need more teachers. Naturally, people are going to go to the education. But we also need to save the lives of many other uh, students, including parents, by the way, because uh, Leona, Leona Learn also works for the parents. But now it gives me great pleasure to recognize our next partner from HPLE. I'd like to welcome Jaime Ortiz. And Jaime is a gold sponsor. Let's hear it for Jaime. And thank you so much for your generous donation, Jaime. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you, Raul. Uh, buenos dias. Um, I would first like to thank uh, the event organizers, the CABE leadership, uh, board of directors, and every single one of you for your unwavering commitment to uh, advancing bilingual education. Uh, as, as someone who has personally benefited from a bilingual and bicultural education, I cannot underestimate the profound impact it, had ha it has had on my life, both personally and professionally. Bilingual education has uh, not only allowed me to embrace uh, and understand different cultures and different points of view, perspectives, but it has opened doors that otherwise would have not been open had it not been for my bilingual and bicultural um, heritage. So uh, as HPLE, we believe in the critical nature that education has in shaping our society. And we believe that uh, every student should have the right to go into a school and into facilities that embrace multiculturalism and multilingualism. And, uh, and so we applaud the work that Cabe does, um, and Raul does, and the, the entire, um, every attendee here. So thank you for for um, leading the way. Welcome back, everybody. Please turn your attention to the stage as we begin our awards program. We invite you to continue eating quietly as we give our full attention 
to the speakers and awardees. Every year, Kabe awards $2,500 scholarships, or as we call them, teacherships at Kabe, to university students who are studying to become bilingually authorized teachers. Today, we are elated to honor five bilingual teacher candidates from across California. At this time, we invite the five teachership award recipients to the stage, along with our Cabe board members presenting these awards. Dr. Leti Ramirez, Cabe board director of secondary and IHE affairs, and Manuel Colon, Cabe board region three representative. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. It is my honor to present the Alma Florada Teachership Award to Viridiana Hernandez, who's working on her bilingual teacher authorization in UC Irvine. I would like to share a few words from her application. Growing up as a first generation child with immigrant parents who came to the United States for a better life has been difficult, but also astonishing. My parents have always wanted the best for their children, including the best education opportunities and more. However, this means they took every opportunity they could, such as working the most dreadful jobs, getting talked down on there by their bosses, and taking any opportunity to get ahead in life. This installed in me the need to become a doctor, a dentist, or any profession that would make my parents proud. I recognize that no matter how hard I try to pursue a different career path, my profound fashion led me towards becoming a bilingual educator. My inspiration to become a bilingual school teacher is fueled by a dedication to sharpening young minds, fostering cultural understanding, and contributing to the creation of a more harmonious society. I am excited about the prospect of bringing my passion for bilingual education where I am to continue learning, growing, and ultimately making a lasting impact on the lives of the students. I will be privileged to teach with my fluency in two languages. Please give me a hand and thank those uh, Viridiana Hernandez with the Alma Florada Teachership Award. Felicidades, Viridiana. like to say a few words? I just want to say thank you to Cabe for this amazing opportunity and award given to me. I just want to say thank you to my parents for giving me this beautiful, um, for being bilingual, and um, thank you to my coordinator who's right here in front, who is such an inspiration. Gracias, mi raza. Si se puede. Good afternoon. It is my honor to present the F. Isabel Campoy Teachership Award to Eloisa Ortiz Gomez, a bilingual authorization student at UC Irvine. I'd like to share a few words from the personal statement on her application. It was another hot summer day working alongside my father's landscape company when he looked at me drenched in sweat and told me with those most serious eyes, mija, haz mejor que yo, y estudia lo más que puedas para no estar como yo. Daughter, do better than me and study as much as you can so you don't have to work as hard as me in these hot summer conditions. These words have stuck with me and have been my driving force to continue my education and work towards my career. As a first generation college and graduate student, I know that my ambition and motivation to succeed comes from the struggling backs of my immigrant parents, sweat, tears, and fears of wondering who I will become. As I strive to become a bilingual teacher, I am inspired by my hardworking parents' culture. My parents have instilled in me to always take pride in my cultura, 
we must further expand and implement bilingual education in our communities because biliteracy connects us to our heritage and community. Representation matters, and it matters most to the students who aspire to break down the barriers that our traditional monolingual English educational system has built around us. Thank you for those thoughtful words and inspiring words, Eloisa. Cabe is proud to present you with the F. Isabel Campoy Teachership Award. Felicidades, Eloisa. Buenas tardes. Solamente quiero decirle gracias a Cabe por esta oportunidad. Y también quiero decirle gracias a mis papás por siempre inculcarme de ser orgullosa de mi cultura. Gracias. Thank you. It is my honor to present the Carlos Penichet Teachership Award to Christine Shishido, who is also a BLA student at UC Irvine. It looks like a good things are happening in UC Irvine, so we need more applications from other places, okay? As the IHE director, she uh, shares with us her personal statement. The bond of our common humanity is stronger than the diversity of our fears and prejudices by Jimmy Carter. This was one of the last Facebook posts my beloved young brother Jason wrote before he tragically passed away on September 14, 2023. Jason's sudden passing shocked me to the core, but amidst the sorrow and tragedy, I knew I wanted to find some way for his legacy to live on. At the time, I was a few months into my master's multiple subject teaching credential program and bilingual authorization program. But instead of just looking towards graduation, I'm inspired by Jason to take my purpose so much further. Jason was an undergraduate at Cal State Long Beach, majoring in constitutional law. He was passionate about speaking up for the marginalized, creating laws to protect the underserved and doing decades of injustice that have harmed minorities in our country. Jason's dream is something I hope to embody in my career as a bilingual educator. I worked for six years teaching English as a foreign language in Japan to middle and high school students in English immersion setting of great importance was creating a place where language and cultural exchange can help bond and foster a common sense of community that extends beyond the classroom. Coming from a multiracial and trilingual background as a Japanese American and Mexican American, this ideal is something I hold close to my heart. I hope to soon contribute to the world of bilingual education in California, similar to what my brother imagined, one free of fears and prejudices instead of a classroom that that grows like a garden where each student is a flower and the teacher is a watering can, encouraging each flower to grow up together. Thank you, Christine, for sharing your story and for your deep commitment to bilingual education. Cabe is proud to present you the Carlos Benichet Teachership Award. Felicidades. First, um, I want to thank Kabe so much for giving me this opportunity. This is actually my first time at the Kabe conference, and I think it's amazing um, everything that it stands for. I'm so excited to be here. And I also want to thank my family, my mom, and try not to get emotional, my brother Jason, who I dedicate this to. And I hope to continue um, fighting for everything he stood for in bilingual education. Thank you so much. It is an honor to present the Chuck and Estela Acosta Teachership Award to Cassandra Almeida a UC, uh, from UC Irvine. Here's what Cassandra shared in her personal statement. I chose to become a bilingual teacher because I grew up in the US with immigrant parents. I was constantly trying to determine my identity and questioning whether I should be speaking Spanish or if doing so would make me less American. Every time I was asked where I was from, I felt like I was betraying my parents, my culture, and my background. 
However, when I was required to interpret paperwork and documents for them, I felt the pressure of being born and raised in this nation. Earning my master's in teaching will be an accomplishment for me, for my Hispanic community, and every first generation student who had to be their parents' translator and interpreter and their only source of being heard. For me, becoming a teacher will also entail advocating for more bilingual educators in classrooms to assist parents who frequently, frequently struggle to comprehend what is being taught and who cannot assist their children with their homework. I'm, going, I'm doing this for the children who are forced to leave their home countries in search of a better life. I am doing this for the kids who walk into classrooms and face the challenges of not fitting in and struggling with language barriers, which leaves them feeling lost, overwhelmed, and confused. I want them to know they can do anything they dream of. Those are very powerful words, Cassandra, and we thank you for sharing them with us. Cabe is proud to present you Cassandra Almeida, the Chuck and Estela Costa Teachership Award. Felicidades, Cassandra. Hola, hola. ¿Sí me escuchan? OK. Primero que nada, quiero darle gracias a Cabe por el reconocimiento y también a mi profesora, Susan, porque gracias a ella nos motivó y nos dijo, tiene que aplicar, y si no, nos regañaba. Así que gracias por eso. Pero en especial a mi mamá, que no pudo estar aquí, pero sé que está súper orgullosa por mí. Y que gracias a ella, que se vino de México para estar aquí, para que yo pudiera cumplir mis sueños, aunque ella tuviera que sacrificarlos de ella. Y muchas gracias a todos los otros padres también. Thank you very much. So we have one more teachership award, and this is to Gabriela Mendez Erazo from National University. She says in her application, I chose this career because I was inspired by many of the teachers I found throughout my education. My family and I immigrated from the United States to the United States looking for the American dream. I came to the U.S. without knowledge of the language, so I had to take ELD classes to learn English. According to the EL statistics, my academic future was not promising, but I overcame the difficulties thanks to educators who supported me. Dr. Severa and my ELD teacher inspired me and encouraged me to pursue higher education. As a sophomore to the new country, the educational system was unknown to me but multiple teachers in high school guided me to apply to college. I believe bilingual education was responsible for my success in education. As a newcomer, I was not left to sink or swim. Bilingual education supported me in developing my native language further and learning academic context in a new language. The migrate education program contributed to a new dream, higher education. I participated in the migrant speech and debate competition where I learned how I could win a prize by using my native and second language. I competed for two consecutive years, winning first place at the county level and competing at the state level. This competition helped me gain confidence in myself and my academic abilities. This experience allowed me to feel confident in pursuing higher education. Please thank us, help us thank Gabriela Melendez Erazo for the teacher scholarship. We are now excited to honor the CABE 2024 Parents, Paraeducator, Teacher, and Administrator of the Year. Here to present the Paraeducator of the Year Award is CABE Director of Paraprofessional Affairs, Rosa Armstrong. What an honor to present the CABE Paraeducator of the Year Award to Alberto Mendoza of the Oxnard School District. Our educators are very special people as they serve as a vital bridge and link between the school and the homes and community of our students. That is exactly what Alberto Mendoza does for his district. 
At the center of Alberto Mendoza's educational philosophy is the belief that everyone is both a teacher and a student. He believes that at the center of every interaction lies the opportunity to learn and share knowledge. Over the past six years, he has coordinated the District English Learner Advisory Committee at the Oxnard School District, ensuring that the voices of English learners are heard and that their needs are addressed. He is proud to be a member of the collaborative team of parents tasked with updating the English Learner Master Plan. His commitment further extends to coordinating the district-wide school needs assessment, specifically tailored for parents of English learners. Additionally, Mr. Mendoza has hands-on experience spending two years directly helping first and second grade English learners to navigate their unique learning journeys. He is passionate about giving back to the community as shown in his role with the community. Engagement, initiative, and project to inspire. Cabe is very proud to recognize Alberto Mendoza as the Cabe 2024 para Educator of the Year. Would you like to say some few words? Very good. I just want to just quickly say a few things, um, most quickly to uh, Cabe, of course, for um, you know, selecting me, the Cabe staff that I've been working with for a couple years now. And of course, I want to thank um, Teresa Rubalcaba for nominating me and giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, <laughs> all, all the Oxford School District staff that supported me along the way, and most importantly, of course, I want to thank the parents. Mil gracias a los padres que están aquí de Oxnard, porque sin ellos y su apoyo no estuviera yo aquí por el trabajo que hacemos juntos para estos últimos seis años. Gracias. Congratulations, Alberto. Now, to present the CABE Parent of the Year Award, please welcome CABE's Board Director of Parent Relations, Mariana Lee, and Embajador Ricardo Santana Velázquez, Consul Titular del Consulado de México en Oxnard. It is an honor for me to present the Parent of the Year Award today to Jesse Alvarez of Horseman Elementary in the Anaheim Elementary School District. Mrs. Jesse Alvarez has been an exceptional parent volunteer and leader at Horseman Elementary School and in the Anaheim community for the past 11 years. She volunteers in both the classroom and at numerous school events and serves on various decision-making committees. Mrs. Alvarez has been a strong supporter and advocate for the dual language immersion program. Having both of her children in DLI and sharing the positive impact it has made in their lives has encouraged other parents to enroll their children. She has been instrumental in the expanding DLI program, parent engagement at the school site and in the district and community. She is a strong supporter of CABE and has been a CABE, CABE member since 2017 often informing other parents of CAVE events and initiatives. She has encouraged parents to attend and volunteer at various CAVE conferences and has also served as the CAVE Orange County Chapter Secretary. She has also served as a member and is currently the Secretary of the District English Learner Advisory Committee and the Site and District PTA. Mrs. Alvarez is a motivating parent leader and mentor to other parent volunteers increasing their participation at school and district events, and encouraging them to become more active in decision-making committees at the school sites and district level. She's the co-founder of Operation Literacy Engaging Everyone, LE, a nonprofit organization making books available to underserved, underserved students and families. As you can see, she does it all. 
Jessie Alvarez is a superhero in, this, in her school district and makes a tremendous difference in the lives of students, families, and educators. Jessie, CABE is proud to recognize you as, as the CABE 2024 Parent of the Year. Before we ask you to speak, I would like to invite Ricardo Santana Velázquez, Consul Titular del Consulado de México in Oxnard, to provide a recognition from IME, Instituto de Mexicanos del Exterior. Buenas tardes. A nombre del Gobierno de México, de la Secretaría de Relaciones Exteriores, del Instituto de los Mexicanos en el Exterior, queremos reconocer a Jesse Árvales por involucrarse y tener el compromiso de la educación bilingüe como el padre y la mujer del año. Muchísimas felicidades a Jesse Álvarez, orgulloso de, orgullosa de sus raíces. No hay nada que la mujer mexicana no pueda hacer. ¡Felicidades! Good afternoon, everyone. So, um, I am a proud parent of two dual language students in Anaheim Elementary and in Anaheim Union High School District. I'm, I'm also a proud product of both districts. Shout out to Betsy Ross, Sycamore, and Anaheim. Um, and I'm a Spanish language learner, so reclaiming that heritage and culture for my, my, my boys. Um, I'm proud to address you all as a representative of all of our parents that pour their hearts out in supporting our children at our schools. I stand here because of my commitment to a culturally and linguistically responsive educational experience for our students. I have been able to use my voice in the educational spaces here in Anaheim, due in part to the inclusivity that has been established by the Anaheim Elementary School District. Here in AASD, they are not just checking the box on parent engagement. As parents, we are empowered to use our experiences and unique perspective to work collaboratively to create equity and educational opportunities that support all students and enrich the lives of our families. I urge all of our districts here, superintendents, administrators, to think about how they are reaching out to families to authentically engage with parents and caregivers to tap into the assets that our families and communities bring to the table. I recognize my power as a parent advocate and invite districts to help foster that empowerment among their parents and caregivers and help foster leadership growth and advocacy amongst their volunteers. I thank Kabe for the recognition and from the consulate as well on behalf of all parents and caregivers and for the meaningful work they do to ensure that all students in California have the same opportunities as my children to thrive as bilingual and biliterate citizens. Thank you. Congratulations, Jesse. Next, the Kabe 2020 24 Teacher of the Year Award will be presented by CABE Board Immediate Past President, Dr. Barbara Flores. Following Dr. Flores, the Teacher of the Year will be recognized by the Embassy of Spain and the Mexican Consulate of Oxnard. Let's welcome them all to the stage. I broke the rules, you guys. <clears throat> I invited, uh, it's an honor and a sink honor to present the CABE 2024 Teacher of the Year Award to Maria Cristina Liera of Mus Muscoy Elementary School in San Bernardino City Unified School District. <clears throat> I invited her principal, David, uh, Dana Jamison, and Assistant Superintendent of Ed Services, Anna Applegate, as well, to, to join her. And, uh, Christina has served as a bilingual teacher for 24 years in kindergarten and second grade. And I know that because I had the privilege and honor of serving as her professor at Cal State San Bernardino. Um, she's one of the 10,000 that I taught. As the eighth of, the nine, of nine children in a Mexican family, she knew at a young age that she wanted to be a teacher. She still remembers how scary and stressful it was to enter kindergarten at, and a, as an English learner. With the help of her family and teachers, she learned how to per persevere and grew to love learning. In becoming a teacher, she wanted to make a difference and to help alleviate the anxious feeling in her students. 
She's taught kindergarten for over 20 years, you guys. Is that amazing? Yes. Becoming a bilingual teacher not only fulfilled her childhood dream, but has also al allowed her to prepare students with her same experience to achieve academically. Christina, <clears throat> excuse me, Christina's teaching philosophy is filled with love, patience, and understanding. She credits the networking and planning meetings hosted by San Bernardino City Unified School District Multilingual Department and as having expanded her ex expertise through working closely with other bilingual teachers, she has also taken advantage of many of the other opportunities for professional development and participated on various districts committees. She served as a master teacher to bilingual student teachers. She is a true cabista. She has attended numerous CABE conferences and institutes and has participated in CABE's binational project GLAD pilot program in partnership with the Sistema Educativo Estatal de Baja California and Project GLAD National Training Center. And I must add that she was a Marine for eight years and is a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Christina believes that our families and communities are a vital part of our education system and has served on the Muskoi ELAC committee and dedicated her time to many after school events. She sees her classroom as a family that works hard every day to become bilingual and biliterate while respecting diversity and taking care of each other. Christina Kabe is so honored and very proud to present you with the Kabe Teacher, Kabe 2024 Teacher of the Year Award. Here you go. And I now invite you to, to say a few words. Primeramente, quiero pedir, uh, darle gracias a Dios por todas las bendiciones y, y la gracia que me ha concedido. It is truly a blessing and an honor to receive this recognition of CABE 2024 Teacher of the Year. Thank you to my family. My, my parents, my siblings, my husband, my children, uh, your ongoing support and love teach me to serve and, uh, and be a better person every day. Thank you to my teachers, starting from kindergarten all the way to college, Cal State San Bernardino. <laughs> um, thank you for, thank you to my colleagues, my mentors, and my San Bernardino City Unified School District for always, for always providing um, great professional development that just expand my knowledge. Also, thank you to my Muscoy family for always welcoming me and always allowing me to serve with love, patience, and understanding. Muchas gracias. Stay right there. Okay. Uh, now I would like to invite el embajador Ricardo Santana Velázquez, consul titular del Consulado de México de Oxnard y también la consul de um, España, um, Lourdes Urieta, uh, to present uh, uh, another, another award to you, Christina. Good afternoon, Cabe family. It is an honor and a pleasure to be once again in this significant event where diversity and cultural richness is, are celebrated with enthusiasm and dedication. The Education Office of the Embassy of Spain is pleased to be part of this wonderful gathering that promotes multilingualism. We are so happy to be here and to be able to learn from your projects and experiences presented here because they give visibility to the richness of speaking more than one language. In the Oficina de Educación, 
Creemos firmemente en la diversidad cultural, que es un valor añadido que demuestra la fortaleza y la autenticidad de las personas. Y que celebrar nuestras raíces es reconocer la riqueza de nuestra identidad. Por lo que agradecemos a todas las familias que están aquí y que inspiran e impulsan a sus niños y a sus niñas a que hablen con orgullo la lengua familiar, que la cuiden y que la pasen a futuras generaciones. Asimismo, la educación es un proceso colaborativo y la responsabilidad de educar a un alumno recae en toda la comunidad educativa. Es, es por eso y siendo los profesores quienes desempeñan un papel fundamental en este proceso colaborativo, ¿verdad? Ellos son los guías y mentores que inspiran y motivan y modelan el aprendizaje y queremos expresar nuestra profunda gratitud a todos los educadores aquí presentes quienes con su dedicación contribuyen diariamente al desarrollo integral de los, de los estudiantes. Es por eso con gran satisfacción que otorgamos una beca especial para la profesora Cabe del año, profesora Lieva, y esta beca consiste en una experiencia única de tres semanas en la Universidad de Granada, en España. La beca incluye manutención... <risa> Manutención, alojamiento y actividades culturales, entre las cuales se destaca una visita a la Alhambra, que es un tesoro declarado Patrimonio de la Humanidad. Y esta oportunidad tiene como objeto fomentar el intercambio cultural y fortalecer los lazos entre nuestras comunidades. Bueno, que en resumen, estamos emocionados de compartir este espacio con ustedes, de aprender de sus experiencias y de contribuir al fortalecimiento del multilingüismo de la diversidad cultural en el ámbito educativo. Por favor, sigamos trabajando juntos para formar ciudadanos del mundo orgullosos de su identidad y capaces de abrazar y respetar la diversidad que nos enriquece. Y si quieren conocernos un poco más y conocer nuestros programas, por favor, yo les invito a que se pasen por el booth 503, donde muy gustosamente se los explicaremos todos. Gracias y que tengan un evento fructísimo. Vamos, Cabe, go, Cabe. And congratulations to the Teacher of the Year. Buenas tardes nuevamente. Con muchísimo cariño, con afecto, el Gobierno de México también se hace presente en esta reunión de CABE para reconocer a María Cristina Liera con, eh, por haber sido electa como la profesora del año de California en Estados Unidos. Muchísimas felicidades, muy orgulloso de los, de los logros y el esfuerzo que todos hacen en la educación y en especial a la mujer, a la mujer mexicana, a la mujer hispana. Felicidades. Congratulations, Cristina. Otro aplauso. Cabe thanks Agregada Educational Attaché Lourdes Aurreta Mendia and the Spanish Embassy in Los Angeles and Ricardo Santana Velasquez, Consul Titular del Consulado de México in Oxnard, for their generosity and support. Next, the Site Administrator of the Year Award will be presented by our Cabe Board, Region 3 Representative Manuel Colon. Gracias. It is an honor to be here today and to present the CABE 2024 Site Administrator of the Year to Sandra Laudermilk, Principal of Dolores Huerta International Academy in Fontana Unified School District. Yes, let's hear it. Sandra Laudermilk is a lifelong learner and educator, has held the roles of classroom and intervention teacher, reading specialist, assistant principal, and principal. At seven years old, her family immigrated to the United States as she knew little English upon entering the U.S. school system. As a newcomer student, she was discouraged from speaking Spanish in school. Fortunately, by the time she entered high school, she attended a school that was diverse and more embracing of multicultural and linguistic diversity. Those experiences motivated her to continue to reconnect with her heritage when she enrolled in a Spanish or Spanish speakers course. That sparked ultimately lit 
the path to her career in education. Ms. Loudermilk's educational approach is rooted in providing support to the members of her learning community to ensure success for all students. This approach drew her to dual language immersion. Ms. Loudermilk and her staff are part of an innovative approach to learning and all dual language immersion school that is also authorized as an international baccalaureate IV school. Culture and language are not only embedded in its academic programming, but are also essential to the continued growth and development of students as future contributing members of an increasing global society. Sandra Loudermilk is an avid believer in personal and professional growth opportunities, not only for herself, but also to support and offer opportunities for her teachers and learning community. She has provided her teachers with the opportunity to engage in PD through organizations such as CABE, GLAD, Cal State University, University of California, IV, and other organizations. Her personal and professional goal is to be an instructional leader who inspires others to be the best version of themselves through whatever guidance and assistance she can provide. CAVE is proud to recognize you, Sandra Laudermilk, as the CAVE 2024 Site Administrator of the Year. Muchas gracias. I see we're a little bit over time, so I'll try, I probably won't take too long. Um, good afternoon, parents, colleagues, CABE team and CABE board member. Thank you all for staying uh, for this. This year's theme is strength and unity. This is one belief that I have always held close to my heart. One of the quotes that I've always uh, aspired to is, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much by Helen Keller. I pride myself in working with others and it is only through the working with others that I have come to receive this award. I am humbled by this award and must share that it is really the teamwork behind me that has allowed me to even be nominated for this award. I want to thank my amazing team, Janet Rivera, Dolores Delgado, my office staff, Jenny, Anna, Brenda, and our entire DIA team, certificated and classified staff for all your work in helping me make Dolores Huerta International Academy the most amazing place to learn and work. I strive to be a leader who brings out the best in everyone. It was only through the motivation of others that I decided to pursue a career in education and then a role in leadership. Thank you, Linda Ureño, the first teacher I ever worked with as a bilingual aide, and Diana Tibet, who constantly pushed me to pursue my administrator role. If not you, then who, she would say. Uh, thank you to my husband, Jim, and to my children, James and Megan, for always being there and allowing me to thrive in my work, regardless of the time I spent away from home. It is only through their encouragement that I stand before you today. I love my work. I love serving my community. Our scholars, parents, and staff are the people I work for. Seeing them thrive is why I do this work. I began my career in education working with English learners. Seeing that light turn on and shine is why I have continued to do this work. They are the reason we are all here. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Oh, that must be Corona Narco back there. They're loud. As a CAVE board member and director of state and legislative affairs, I am given the opportunity to contribute in many ways to CAVE. But today, I have to admit, is one of my absolute favorites. I have been asked to present the District Administrator of the Year Award to my dear, dear friend, Amiga del Alma, co-conspirator and amazing educator, Dr. Renee Bryant. <laughs> I have known Renee for many, many years. I'm not even sure how many years, but I knew her when she was a teacher at Corona Norco School District, where I serve on the school board. And since then, I have been so impressed and amazed at everything she does. And I wanna share just a little bit, cause I have like 10 pages here, but it's time to go. So let me hurry up. 
She is a wonderful, wonderful lady. Currently, Dr. Bryan is a director of English, English Learner and Multilingual Services at the Anaheim Union High School District. Her philosophy of bilingual, multilingual, and plurilingual education is that she is a superpower that should be afforded as a right of all scholars. She has been instrumental in promoting plurilingual programs in Spanish, Vietnamese, and Korean in AUHSD, and has helped develop the first Vietnamese dual language immersion high school academy in the state. When Dr. Bryan attended her first Kave conference in 1998, she felt like she had finally found her people. Kave and the annual Kave conference were her go-to professional learning when she started her career as a paraeducator, teacher, and later as a site and district administrator. She was selected as the Kabe Teacher of the Year in 2013, which changed her life and motivated her to go back to school and earn a doctorate. Dr. Bryant is involved in so many projects at so many levels. She has been an active member of Kabe Riverside Chapter Number Six since 2017. And under her leadership, the chapter was selected twice as the Kave Chapter of the Year. She has served as CSUSF Dissertation Committee member, English Learner Expert Practitioner, and co-chair of the Time to Give Back Foundation. She hosts the Ed Branding Podcast with Lynette White to highlight the incredible work happening in public education. They are just publishing their first book titled, The Ed Branding Book. And just recently, she announced that she's running for a school board in her school district. That's Corona Norco. I can't say enough about you, Renee, and I'm thrilled that today you are receiving the Cave District Administrator of the Year. That's why Dr. Bryant is the Administrator of the Year. Uh oh, what? Oh, thank you for using the picture of me that's 20 years old. I love you. Uh, okay, don't you love that? I know someone snuck in an older photo of me. I saw it. All right, well, I know I'm standing in between your next session, so I'm gonna make it super brief. But before I do, I see Dr. Downing there. Dr. Downing, stand up, please. I'm gonna take some of my two minutes to recognize you. We are a high school district with five elementary feeder school districts feeding into us. We cannot do the amazing work we do without strong leadership at the top in the board of trustees and the superintendents. This man, Dr. Christopher Downing, came in and under the leadership and vision of his board of trustees, made sure that every single elementary school in their district had dual language immersion. So let's give it up for Dr. Downing before he retires this year. Okay, now I have to talk really, really fast, like Jesse did. Okay, you guys ready? All right, thank you, Kabi Leadership, Board of Trustees, CEO, Dr. Edgar Lampkin, President Dr. Raul Maldonado for this tremendous honor. Kabi has been a part of my journey since I was a transitional bilingual teacher during, before Prop 98, right? And our two, two, yeah, Prop 98, right? Yeah, I got them, no, I got them all mixed up now. All right, but you know, before the English only proposition, and then way before Prop 58 that liberalized us all. So uh, then I was a sheltered English immersion teacher, all the good stuff that Mary talked about, and kabe has been a part of that journey for the whole time. So yesterday, Anaheim Union High School District, we had 150 visitors from all over the state and the nation, and it really made me reflect on the fact of how blessed we are to be around educators, to be around families and scholars. So there's a few of you here, turn to the person next to you and say, I am blessed. And turn to them and say, you are blessed. We're blessed to be in this room right now. And I feel blessed to work with these scholars, families, and staff to be able to hopefully change trajectories every day. I'm also blessed to be surrounded by an incredible people at work, these people that have my 20-year-old photo. Thank you so much. And this ward is really your ward, so I accept it on behalf of all of you, and of course, Anaheim Elementary, because the work couldn't be done without your leadership. 
I also want to thank our superintendent, Michael Matsuda. If he's still in the room, he can't sit still very long, so he may be on the move. Oh, he's there. He is the most innovative superintendent in the nation, maybe the universe. And I thank you for your innovative practices and leadership, because without you, this work is impossible. Thank you to our board of trustees for supporting the work, because without them, we can't do it. I want to make sure, again, we thank Anaheim Elementary, our four feeder elementary schools along with them, our AUHSD scholars, family, staff, and community. And now, Trustee Ibarra, I thank you personally for your sponsorship and mentorship and being such a great friend and sister. Lynette White's not here, but I thank her. CNUSD, WSD families. If Berdu's still in the room, I started with you as an intern teacher, San Bernardino. And I want to make sure that I thank my past director, Nivia Gallardo Ayala, the 2015 direct, what is it, administrator of the year. I follow in big footsteps. And my mama couldn't be here for health issues, so I thank you, mama. <laughs> and I know she's always praying for all of us, so I thank her for that. And finally, uh, just thank you all for making time for Kabe. Kabe is so important for all of us to help build our capacities every day. And one of the most challenging thing about this conference is it is so good and you get so much that when you get back, it's hard to take time to stop and reflect. So my challenge to everybody, take out your phone, put your calendar out and put an hour at least on your calendar next week to debrief and reflect on all of you more. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, familia allá. Thank you so much. Es todo. Okay, we have one more award. If you guys can please take your seats and let's be the rowdiest bunch for our last awardee. It is my pleasure. This year, Cabe is introducing a new award, La Maestra del Año, Cabe 2024. Sistema Educativo de Baja California, in partnership with our colleagues at the Secretaria de Educación in Baja California, it is my pleasure on behalf of CABE Board and organization to recognize Leticia Sotelo Diaz as the Baja California CABE 2024 Teacher of the Year. Leticia Sotelo Diaz has stood out for her participation in support of bilingual education in Baja California having been trained in Cabe Baja California Binational GLAD project in 2017. Leticia has been a driving force for bilingual education and has served as one of the first teachers in the state of Baja California to have the responsibility of teaching bilingually in two primary schools in the municipality of Ensenada. Each school year, she has the responsibility of educating 200 students in our bilingual program. Cabe is proud to recognize the accomplishments of Leticia Sotelo Diaz as we work binationally to support and benefit the students that we share between the two Californias. Felicidades, Leticia. Let's give her the biggest round of applause. Let's go, Leticia. <laughs> Para el gobierno de México es un orgullo entregar también este reconocimiento aquí en Anaheim, California, a una mexicana muy distinguida. Siempre hemos pensado que si la educación está en manos de la mujer, si está en manos de la mujer que da la vida, que se convierte en madre, la educación está en buenas manos. Y nosotros nos sentimos muy orgullosos de que haya sido elegida Leticia Sotelo Díaz como la maestra del año en Baja California. México. Muchísimas felicidades. Good afternoon, everyone. This is truly an honor and privilege to stand here today as a teacher of the year. My thanks go out to Yara Amparo Lopez, our coordinador estatal del programa Proven in Baja California and to Cabe, Cabe for building together the bridge between two Californias. When I was thinking about this moment and trying to get my thoughts and words together, in order to have a nice speech, my mom would go blank 
and after several hours without any ideas. Finally, a memory from my childhood rescued me from that, that, the anxiety and lack of focus. As a little girl, my parents, my parents, siblings, and I used to live in a little town like 100 miles south of the border from Tijuana. At the time, my father had a brother living in Riverside, and he came with his family to visit us every year. I love spending time with my cousins, even though we did not speak any English at all, and they didn't speak any Spanish. The language was not an obstacle to have fun and to enjoy, to enjoy our time together. After a few days of little, uh, in our little town, my uncle and his family had to come back here to California. Um, they went, when they were gonna use to imitate their language, in Mexico, if you want, as a, as a child, if you want to speak English, you just go, wish you, wish you, what you wish you. And if the other ones, the other kids don't understand you, it's because they don't speak English, I mean, so. <laughs> I remember, I was like four or five years old, and I remember very clearly that uh, having that strong desire of speaking like my cousins in Riverside. Now, as a teacher, when the youngest students from my first and second grade approached to me and say, tu enseñas inglés? Do you speak English? And, uh, you can, and you can see in the rise, and those big eyes, um, like if you would be the most amazing teacher because you speak another language. And that uh, they remind me of that little girl that dreamed to speak English, that, their cousins in Riverside. And um, 2018, thanks to CAVE and their work partnership with the Sistema Educativo Estatal in Baja California, I was one of the many teachers invited to participate in this uh, binational OCT project CLAD. On behalf of all the teachers from Baja California, I express my gratitude for this great opportunity of learning new tools that have helped us to have a wider vision of the importance of developing bilingualism, biliteracy, and multiculturalism in our schools. Therefore, we are helping the students we share to overcome the walls and cross over the bridge between these, these two countries. Thank you again to our coordinator, Jar Amparo Lopez, and thank to CAVE for letting us be part of this great family. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all. Welcome back, Dr. Edgar Lankin, CAVE CEO, to provide closing comments. Thank you and congratulations, everyone. I know many of us have already headed to the workshops, but we want to thank everyone Sobrado Family Foundation, Embassy of Spain, the Consulado de Mexico,